from WNY News. This is First Morning Weather. Well, welcome back. Looking at some hazy skies across the Twin Tiers early this evening. Can't rule out an isolated shower or thunderstorm, but a better chance will come as we progress through the day tomorrow as a cold front heads our way and arrives from the west. Now, high temperatures today quite impressive. Hit 92 at the Elmira Corning Regional Airport. How about 94 up towards Dansville, 91 at Williamsport. Of course, that doesn't tell you the whole story. You have all the humidity to contend with as well, so it made it feel even warmer out there. And even at this hour, we're still looking at some temperatures right around 90 degrees, 90 in Elmira. It's also 90 in Tawanda, nearly 90 in Mansfield, and over towards Westfield, 89 degrees as well. So here's a cold front back to the west. We have building uh, humidity in advance of that cold front, isolated showers and thunderstorms across our region. And as that front moves closer during the day tomorrow, We'll have a better chance for more widespread showers and thunderstorms. But so far, most of our region has remained dry. A couple showers coming through western areas of Steuben County right now tend to be isolated in nature, not far from Canistillo, just to the south of Hornell. A couple showers passed through the Bath area a short time ago. Also tracking a cluster of some showers and thunderstorms down towards the Renabo area southern sections of Potter County. These are working their way up towards the north and east. So areas to the south and west of Wellsboro, uh, you may get a couple quick downpours within the next half hour or so. Better chance for showers and thunderstorms tomorrow. Look for temperatures a little bit cooler, about 10 degrees cooler compared to where we were today, but it'll still be on the muggy side. Here's a look at our future track now through the evening hours. Notice isolated showers and thunderstorms coming through, most of which will diminish through the overnight period. First half of tomorrow, mainly dry. We'll have overcast conditions in place, but look what happens here as we approach lunchtime. We'll see a better chance for the showers and thunderstorms as the actual cold front starts to push in from the west. So from Penyan back through the Hornell and Alfred areas, showers and thunderstorms become more likely area wide by about two, three, four o'clock in the afternoon. And these thunderstorms could have some heavy rain and perhaps some gusty winds associated with them. Most will drift to the south and east of our area by tomorrow evening. Now, as far as rainfall amounts go, well, as it's typical with thunderstorms, kind of a, a variety of rainfall totals across our viewing area. But the potential is there for over an inch of rain in some spots. We're in between frontal boundaries on Saturday, so right now Saturday appears to be dry, but another system moves in from the west as we go through Sunday, and this system as well could potentially produce one inch plus rainfall amounts. So we have the potential for some rainy days ahead tomorrow and then again on Sunday. Today we forecast 93, 92 ended up being our unofficial high at the Elmira Corning Regional Airport. We only drop off to 67 tonight. A few showers and thunderstorms possible. Better chance tomorrow. It'll still be warm and humid though. Five degree guarantee 83. We're dry and quite warm on Saturday. Cooler with more showers and thunderstorms on Sunday. And we're looking at more 80s pushing back into the region for much of next week.